Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this interesting problem. As you can see in this figure, we have got this building that has a height AB, and then we have got this stop sign DE, whose height is seven feet. And now the shadow BC is 30 feet while the shadow EC is 10 feet and now we are going to calculate the height of this building. Let me make one thing very clear that this picture may not be 100% true to scale. And moreover, in this video tutorial, I will share with you two different methods to solve this given problem. In one method, we are going to use trigonometry and the second method we will be using without trigonometry. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and we're going to use this very first method. And let's focus on these two triangles, triangle ABC, the big triangle, and the other triangle is DEC. These two given triangles are similar triangles because all three of their corresponding angles are congruent. In other words, this angle is 90 degrees right angle and this angle is 90 degree as well. And moreover, this angle is common to both of these triangles. Then these two angles, this angle and this angle are going to be congruent as well because they are corresponding angles. So therefore the ratios of their corresponding sides are going to be equal as well. So therefore we got this proportion AB divided by DE equals to BC divided by E C. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We are going to calculate the value of this AB divided by DE in our case is 7 equal to BC in our case is 30 divided by 10. Let me go ahead and isolate this AB by multiplying both sides by 7. This 7 and 7 is gone. So our this side a b turns out to be this zero and zero is gone three times seven is 21 so the height of this building a b turns out to be 21 feet so thus the height of this building turns out to be a b equals to 21 feet and that's our answer and now let me show you the second method and this time we are going to use trigonometry to solve this problem. And now let's focus on this right triangle ABC, the big right triangle as you can see. Let me go ahead and call this angle theta over here, this angle. And now this side I am going to call this side is adjacent. I am going to call this one adjacent side and the opposite side is this one and this longest leg is our hypotenuse. And now we will be using this trigonometric ratio tangent of theta equals to opposite over adjacent. So that means I can write this one tangent of theta in our case, opposite side is AB divided by adjacent side is BC. And let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one. And now let's focus on this other smaller right triangle DEC and we can see our angle theta is once again and this side is our adjacent side and this is our opposite side and this longest leg is our 
hypotenuse and once again we will be using this trigonometric ratio tangent of theta equal to opposite over adjacent so that means this time I can write tangent of theta equal to this time it is going to be DE over EC DE over E C and now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number two and now let's go ahead and compare these equations one and two since the left hand side is same so the right hand sides are going to be same as well so I can write this one as a b over b c equal to d e divided by e c and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a b divided by b c in our case is 30 equal to d e in our case is 7 divided by e c is 10 and we are going to calculate the value a b so let's go ahead and isolate a b by multiplying both side by 30 so this 30 and 30 is gone so we simply got a b equal to if we simplify this thing we are going to get 21 so this turns out to be 21 feet so thus the height of this building turns out to be a 21 feet and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.